Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have an hour? <laughs> sure. For you? <laughs> oh my, what do you think of hygienic? Oh my. We're having such a great time. I mean, you know, there's um, original art, uh, music, theater, do the right thing. There's the, you know, the jazz program that ran during vacations. And it's just, it's nuts. It's really gotten to be um, like this really expansive uh, community center kind of approach. I had short, straight brown hair when I started here um, three and a half decades ago. <laughs> Barkley Hendricks, who teaches at Conn College, was sitting at the bar having a beer and um, he said, Allison, you know, um, you should put together a group of people and create it, you know, a, a program of arts. And so she did. And um, she went to the city council and she said, you know, here's what I want to do and I want to write a grant. And lo and behold, she got the grant. <clears throat> and it was, it paid uh, seven artists, uh, $7,000 a year to come to New London for a year and do their art. They decided that they should show their art where they hung out, which was the hygienic diner, which was, you know, it was 24 hour diner. You know, the cops, the hookers, you know, the pimps, the burglars, and, um, you know, everybody else got together at three o'clock in the morning you know, at the, the counter, and I said, it's a good place to hang around. So they hung it all. Now that one I missed. I was the arts and entertainment editor at the Norwich Bulletin at the time. And I heard about this. And so they said it was so much fun. You know, let's do it next year. And it became Hygienic 2. I came down as you know, a writer for the Norwich Bulletin. I was sitting up there at the, um, the diner counter and Leslie Smith, who was a cross-dresser, actor, singer, dancer, brilliant young guy, and he came walking down the street with 11 of the most beautiful women you have ever seen in your entire life. You know, cleavage down to here, backless gowns and dressed to the nines and hair and makeup. And they came in and of course I was young and I was totally naive and it took me a half an hour to figure out that these were guys. I didn't know that. They were so beautiful. And so when I wrote the review, I, part of it was that I, this was the first show I had ever been in where 50% of the art was on the walls and the other 50% was walking around looking at the 50% that was on the walls. You know, that's really kind of cool. And so we're, we're still doing the annual Hygienic Art Show. You know, Vinny's been on the board since the beginning. I've been on since uh, I think Hygienic 3 is when I first actually got involved because Hygienic 2, I was the writer about it. But um, been involved ever since. Tom Hahn who was then the president of New London Landmarks. I'm diddy bopping down Bank Street, and Tom drives up and says, hey, Stidful, you want to go to Hartford and talk about what might happen to the hygienic? Uh, you know, it's a building. And it was on the verge of being sold and torn down to be a parking lot. He picked me up the next morning, and I'm wearing grubbies. And we walked into a room, and it looked like the Supreme Court. You know, there's the dais up there with all the members of the Connecticut Historical Commission, and the whole room was full of suits. I said, I have a proposal to um, the owners and the bank. Um, if the bank will buy the building <clears throat> for its asking price, I don't remember what it was at the time. Hygienic at that point was a uh, 501c3 nonprofit. If you will donate it to the hygienic, I will personally guarantee you that in three years it will be a fully refurbished good neighbor. Of course, I all made it all up.
Meanwhile, on the way back from Hartford, I looked at Tom Hahn and I said, you know, I think I've just committed hygienic to buying a building. I should probably tell the board because we only had a budget of $2,200. <laughs> and that was our annual budget. The budget for redeveloping this building was $143,000. We finished the building, we opened it on January 20, 2000, and we had spent $844,000. <laughs> but it was just like, man, that was a horrible, horrible day. But um, we got there. So here we are yeah. with four galleries, you know, the Diner Gallery. Uh, the Corner Gallery used to be a, um, it was a pool room, and the um, Golden Street side was all glass. So we had that all filled in. The Front Gallery was the bar. We're still going, and then I, I created a couple of things. The Poetry Series, Hygienic Theater Works. still says Swanson's store in the top. So, here we are. We've just had a lot of fun. And um, it, we're just having fun. that morning and there was water coming out of every single light fixture on the first floor. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, it almost didn't end at all. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have an hour? <laughs> I am going to be here for Hygienic 100. <laughs> I'm coming back. Hygienic 100, oh my God. Honestly, I hope we get the opportunity to buy another building downtown. Uh, we have too much going on to be held in just this building. 